a proper understanding of what grace really is, you can never go too far with that. I would say where we fall into challenges um, as Christians, I love what you said, Pastor Sam, you are right. Not just Seventh-day Adventists, but anyone who claims mm -hmm. the name of Jesus struggles with this battle. Um, and that is absolutely right. Um, but to me, the crux of the matter is a proper understanding of grace. There is ditches, you could say, no matter what church you belong to. On one side of the ditch, we say, I call it cheap grace. Grace covers everything. So that means I am saved by grace. Absolutely. That is biblical and that is true. That I can be forgiven. Absolutely. But then we kind of stop there and we don't go into what Peter says, but grow in grace and in mm. the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We don't see that grace, it leads to holiness. We, we don't, we just kind of stay here with the, it makes me feel good and grace makes me happy. And we sit there as children, as you referenced, Pastor Sam, and we don't grow up in the knowledge and understanding of what grace truly is. You know, Paul talks about that in Romans chapter six. He talks about, um, do we cast aside the law just because we believe grace? He says, absolutely not. God forbid. It establishes the law. So in my mind, grace is not a license to sin by any stretch of the imagination. But when I am truly, when I know Jesus, when I fall in love with him, when I don't battle with, am I saved or am I not? When I have assurance in my soul that if I walk out from this right now and I'm involved in a car accident, that I'm going to see Jesus, that my salvation with him is secure. That gives freedom. That gives um, liberty, not a liberty to walk out in sin, but it gives liberty to grow in what he calls me to, who he calls me to be and what he calls me to grow in. To me, that is incredibly freeing when I began to understand that it was not me doing the work, it was Christ doing the work in me. I think one of the foundational truths in my own mind is the comparison between uh, Romans 7 and Galatians 2. And I can't even remember if I referenced this in that um, talk or not. But Romans 7, of course, is this um, contrast, this war between what we think God wants us to do and what the flesh tugs to do. So in other words, the battle in the Christian's heart saying, well, I want to do this and this is godly and I should do this, but this is what I'm doing over here, what I'm not supposed to do. And mm -hmm. then the things that I don't want to do, they're the things that I'm actually engaged in because for whatever reason, I am in bondage. I am in addiction to this certain behavior or emotion or thought pattern.